Hi guys, it's me again. Alright, no viewers. Now, today, now I'm going to be doing not just a normal VHS update this time, but also I'm going to be doing a recorded tapes update as well. Now, the reason for that, because um, I have more recorded tapes that uh, Jenny, who works at Men's Capture Shop, has given me another lot of them yet again. Right, so, oh, and don't worry about the DVDs though. I will uh, include them after I've done this recorded tapes update. Right, so let's crack on. So we're going to start with the first one. And of course, this one is Martin Chuzzlewit Parts 1 and 2 by Charles Dickens. So obviously, you may remember, there's the front, there's the spy, and there's the back. And there's the uh, skeleton there. There's top and bottom. I'll just show you the tape very quickly. And there's the tape of it. And now moving on to the next one, and it'll be Bomber Harris. So that'll be the second one, which is only about 1 hour and 26 minutes. But they do have some uh, extra programs uh, after that film, which I don't know about. But there you go. And now moving on to VE Day 50 from 1995. And here it is. So this is VE 50. So that's Buckingham Palace, the nation celebrates and call up the stars. Uh, that'll be like a... A special concert to celebrate all things VE Day. So yeah, all three of these tapes are all scotch. And the same with this one. Oh, this one is called Sharp's Justice at Waterloo. Now obviously, um, I think this one will be from Carlton. Uh, not London Weekend Television. Yeah, you'll probably get the picture. Oh, and of course, um, whilst I first discovered this tape, I thought it was only Waterloo was the was the only was only the film that was made from Columbia, but then I realised when I watched it, it's actually Sharp's Waterloo. <laughs> it was kind of a mistake of me saying that. But anyways, moving on to the next one, and here's one from JVC. There's the front spy, and there's not much of a back, I'm afraid. But anyways, here's a tape for A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And this time it's got George Scott on it. Oh, and look at that, see? It's got my name on it, but my last name is not Scott, though. <laughs> oh, and um, whilst I was whilst looking at this tape from last night, well, I didn't actually watch A Christmas Carol, though, but I am planning to watch it uh, tonight, if I get a chance. And plus, as a special treat, there is a continuity in the beginning of the tape which leads into a film, A Christmas Carol. And also, I heard that... This one is recorded from ITV, London Weekend Television, and it was a movie premiere. I don't know whether it's Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I think it's mainly Christmas Eve it was. Yeah, and of course I will show you that uh, later on in this uh, update. And now moving on to the next one. And here's Oliver Twist, parts 1 and 2. Right, I'm just checking to see if I got any more. Well, of course there's Oliver Twist, part 2. At this time, it's from TDK, and I've also got some more. <coughs> yeah, just bear with me whilst I find some more. Yeah, bear with me. Well, obviously, that's all the Oliver twists now. And here's the next one. Um, there's Miss Rob, and there's Bramwell yet again. And here's the next tape. Oh, obviously, I've already showed you Oliver Twists, which is fine. And here's another Sharps record tape. This time, it's called Sharps Mission and Sharps Revenge. And the next one is Bramwell, Series 2, Parts 1 and 4. And here's one from Curry's. Oh, my God, look at the old Curry's logo! Ah! I'm just kidding. And there's Bramwell again. And, of course, um... There's Merlin of a Crystal Cave, which unfortunately someone crossed it off. And there's Bramwell, parts 1 and 4. So obviously this time it's from series 1, that's how it all started. And there's The Tide of Life from Catherine Cookson. And the next one is Bramwell, series parts 5 to 7, series 2. And there's uh, Little Dorrit, part 1, from Charles Dickens. And there's Sharp's Regiment and Sharp's Siege. And the next one is Hard Times, another Charles Dickens classic. And I think this one will be Little Dorrit Part 2. And finally, Bramwell Parts 5 to 7. 
So that's obviously, that's all the recorded tapes that I could show you at this week. Because those recorded tapes, however, have kindly been given to me um, by Jenny, who was working at Man's Cap Charity Shop whilst I was out uh, this week. So yeah, these are all well worth um, um, looking at them. Okay, now, as promised, I will show you the continuity into A Christmas Carol right now. Yeah, sit about viewers whilst I sort this out. Alright then, viewers, right. Now, as promised, I'm only going to show you the uh, continuity in the beginning of A Christmas Carol. Right, I'm just going to take that out right now. So that I can just quickly show you. And then I press play to begin with. And then, hopefully, it should come on. So, yeah, as you can see, now, this program has something to do with Kylie Minogue. And before, else any before anyone else asks, I am not in love with Kylie. Because I know that my dad's been a bit cheeky, hmm, thinking that I'm in love with Kylie. When really, I'm not. As I understand she's a pop star. And luckily, I've already got Kylie on the go on VHS, which I've got just over there. Anyways, now, these are the end credits to a special program. And here we go with the continuity at the start. Oh, and of course, uh, it will feature some adverts uh, just before the uh, movie premiere starts. And I was well chuffed to see it. You'll find out. Now, as you can see, uh, now there's a trailer for Pied Piper. Oh, and I don't think it's an animated film. It's more likely a live action film. And I think this one is something to do with World War II or something. I might be wrong though. But anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to be quiet now so I can let you have a look at this slide for A Christmas Carol. Maybe that will give you a piece of advice. Hmm, see what I mean? Oh, and uh, this is from London Weekend Television, by the way. And that was part of the ITV network. And there's a Scotch advert with uh, Skeleton. That's the one I told you about um, from the update earlier on. And as you can see, they've got classic adverts such as Diet Coke, Scotch VHS tape, which is a recorded one, obviously. Also known as the blank tapes. And yeah, those were lots of adverts. Oh, and there's one public information film, which is something to do with smoke alarms. See what I mean? This is from London. A fire brigade. And there's SO, uh, something to do with petrol. Right, and here we are. Yep, yeah, and as you can see, that after the film, they also featured a continuity at the end, which is Christmas Sunday Sunday. Well, I may have not heard of Christmas Sunday Sunday before, but I also heard they sometimes feature um, <coughs> pop stars and comedians such as Jason O'Donovan. And there's Joanna Lumbly there. And here we go with the ITV ident. See, told you that that film was a movie premiere for ITV. Well, viewers, I was well chuffed to see it that after I rewinded the tape last night, and the continuity was really amazing. And plus, it is nearly Christmas after all, so I'm definitely watching it tonight. So there you go, viewers. That's pretty much what I can show you in this uh, recorded tapes update. And this is the first time I've ever get to do that, so... Yeah, since I've already included them last time round with retail tapes. Okay, well I better say goodbye now, viewers, and I will see you again soon for the DVD update as promised. See you then. Bye-bye.